Dr. Smith's uh, impact on the gamut of agriculture as, as how it pertains to forestry and the agricultural nature of forestry is, is renowned. Um, he's not ever quit being an innovator in what we do and how we do it. I'll tell you what doesn't drive him. Personal gain. He's just not interested in that. He's interested in what makes it tick, how can we fix it, what do we need to study. He's extremely modest, which I think as a scientist helps him um, because it means people want to flock to him and work with him. It was amazing how everything fits. I mean, everything fits. Wayne Smith grew up on his family's farm in Mariana, Florida. It was here that his interest in agricultural science first took root, experimenting on increasing crop yields or raising better calves in various FFA contests. His love of silviculture began here as well, when his father decided to retire the farm and plant a pine forest. The idea that he could combine his interests and share them with others was inspired by a teacher. I was motivated to go into agricultural education by my BOAG teacher in high school. He, I thought, was a gifted teacher and a motivator of young men. And so from that, I went on to college and became a teacher's assistant. And then later on uh, in graduate school, I became a, a, a laboratory assistant. So I decided, well, I can do this and I like it. So I chose to stay with it. Wayne graduated from the University of Florida and returned to his alma mater in 1964. As a professor, he would teach using a method he called learning by discovery. I would paint the big picture, ask some key questions, and require the students to collect and analyze their data. And when they would do that, and all of a sudden they saw the answers to all the questions, that was my aha moment when they said, I've got it. And that was when I really felt good about what I was doing. Wayne's learning by discovery method would impact the lives of students and fellow faculty members alike. Well, Dr. Smith was uh, one of my professors at the University of Florida when I uh, decided that um, that's where I was going to go to school and, and what I was going to do with my life. And forestry certainly fit in my personality and my hobbies and, and everything I, I liked in life. He was senior faculty member when we were junior faculty members. And then um, later on, um, he became the director of the School of Forest Resources and Conservation. I was a faculty member, so he was my direct supervisor for eight or 10 years. And I saw him mentor other people, uh, uh, all the faculty, in fact. Wayne advanced through the academic ranks at the University of Florida, eventually earning the status of Professor Emeritus. He retired in 2003, but returned to UF to serve as interim dean for research. Then. Interim Dean for the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. And while education was his career, forestry was his passion. He played a key role in the research, development, and implementation of the first known best management practices in forest management, or silviculture. And in the 1960s, Wayne's research into fertilization would revolutionize the output of the forest industry. We put in a uh a bevy of experiments throughout the southeastern United States. We experienced yield increases from from 10 percent to 500 percent, depending on the soil and the site that we were working on. I'm delighted personally that nowadays forest fertilization is just a routine practice. The research uh, has made our southern forests so much more productive than they were or could have been, uh, especially in Florida where our soils mostly are they're not really great. They're not um, wonderful Piedmont soils like some of the other southern states have. While director of the university's forestry program, Wayne was the driving force behind the school's greatest teaching resource, the Austin Carey Forest Campus. We developed a campus concept around an existing conference building that we had here. We built a outdoor teaching pavilion we added a, a tree walk and forest trails. And then about that time, the building, the conference building burned. So we set about to replace it with a new learning center. And so the replacement building that we developed was now the Stern Learning Center that we are at here today, which of course has many, many more amenities and resources that, that has really enhanced the uh, teaching and outreach on the forest. 
the Austin Carey <clears throat> uh, provided a, a learning center and a learning environment for most foresters that, that were educated in, in Florida. The Austin Carey was the foundation of a lot of our coursework, anything that had to do with the traditional uh, tools that you had to have educationally, like surveying, uh, mensuration, which is the measurement of the forest, those kinds of things we all did out here, so this became kind of a home for us. The deck outside the Stern Learning Center was donated by Wayne and his wife Mitzi and named the Wayne Smith and Mitzi Austin Deck. The campus is now used four days out of the week on average. The forest now averages over 8,000 visitors per year that take advantage of the learning opportunity, including weddings that occur here almost every weekend. It's really turned to be a lot turned out to be a lot more functional than any of us anticipated so i like to just come and marvel it sits on a beautiful lake which is how can you not like sit standing on that deck looking out at that lake so so wayne has been active in the profession in agriculture and forestry basically his whole life he uh, still is even 20 years after retirement. And for him to be really not the end of his career, but advanced in, in what he does for forestry, people like me, who are almost at the end of their career, can still consider him a mentor. And uh, his diplomacy, uh, his character, are all the things that uh, make Wayne uh, so deserving of, of this particular honor. And uh, it's, it's an honor that rarely goes to forestry people. So uh, we're all so proud that uh, Everybody else recognizes in Wayne what we all knew was there all along. I'm just awed and humbled to be counted among the, what I think of the giants of agriculture. So to be numbered among them is just beyond my belief. So I'm awed.